it's me, Deja Sky from Paul's Rag Race Season 14, and welcome back to my channel! Ba -bow, ba -ba -bow. <laughs> well, we are gonna do another top 10 list. Now, these are so much fun to me. I get bored very easily. <laughs> like very easily and so doing stuff that excites me and doing stuff that is one I can really 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 get into and two it's not something that I have to like crazy research for hours upon hours upon hours it's the best case scenario for me but I think I have come down to some sort of a title my favorite all-time favorite like comedian in the world is Kathy Griffin so I think I'm gonna call this my life on Deja's list, you know, like my life on the D list. So this is top 10 lip sync songs that I wanna see on RuPaul's Drag Race. These are lip sync songs that have not been done, at least on the American franchise, of my knowledge, and hopefully my knowledge is, is decent because that would be all bad if all 10 of them have already been done. That would be all bad. Anyways, as always, please don't forget to compliment the makeup. I'm giving Black Panther, I'm giving Black Power right now, and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. But let's get into this top 10 of lip sync songs that I would love to see on RuPaul's Drag Race. So something else that I asked as well is, do you guys want me to actually rank them or just do no particular order? And the overwhelming response was rank them. So we're gonna go from 10 to one. So coming up first, number 10, it is Mercy by Duff. You got me begging you for mercy. Gen Z. Gen Z, look it up. Get into this song. You guys, this song I feel like any entertainer could excel at. You can camp this mother up. You can be sexy. You can be dancey. You can be slow. It encompasses it all. This was a song, I think I performed this song one time in my life. And let me tell you, Moneymaker, Moneymaker, people go up for the song. People love the song. She is kind of a one-hit wonder. No shade. Nothing against you, Miss Duffy. Hi, if you're watching, hello. Um, but the song is sickening, and I want to see it on RuPaul's Drag Race. Moving on to number nine. I am actually like shocked. This song hasn't been on RuPaul's Drag Race, but it is TikTok by Kesha. Don't stop, make it pop, DJ, blow my speakers up. You guys, you guys, how have we not had this song on RuPaul's Drag Race? This was her like. I think her biggest hit, it was her first and biggest hit. This song goes up, it goes hard, you guys. Coming in at number eight, another iconic song. I keep saying all these songs are iconic, but honestly, to me, they're just iconic because it's just, it was it, it was a different time for pop music and music in general. But anyways, coming in at number eight, it is Wine Up by Kat DeLuna. Wine up, oh, wine up, oh, wine up, oh yeah. Baby, it's summertime. <laughs> I love this song. I love this song so much. I I think I've only performed this song once, which is really weird, but this song is so good. It popped up on my playlist a couple of days ago and I was like, wait, wait, that's actually really sickening. So I might have to put it back in the repertoire. So it's fun, it's cha-cha, it's all of that, you guys. And Wine Up needs to be on RuPaul's Drag Race. That's why it is number eight. As always, you guys, comment below. Is there any songs that you would love to see on RuPaul's Drag Race? This is actually a list that I can see continuing on for a very long time. Next, at number seven, this is for all my Caucasian girlies. This is Come Clean by Hilary Duff. Let the rain fall down. You guys, again, brings me back to a moment. This was the Hills theme song. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Was it the Hills theme song? No, the Hills theme song wasn't written. Whoa, Hills was my I don't even remember. But it brings me back to that era of like that reality TV show, Laguna Beach Anyways, you guys, Come Clean by Hilary Duff. Come on, how is it not? How has it, has any Hilary Duff songs been on RuPaul's Drag Race? I don't think they have been. This song is going to be beautiful. It has levels, it starts off slow, it goes up, it comes back down. There's so much that you can do with this. I could see a dance girly, I could see a Caucasian lady breaking it down to the coming clean of Hillary Duff. This song would be epic. And honestly, it would give the generation, this is, this is my thing about a lot of these songs too. In my head I'm thinking, oh, this will give like, the newer generation, something to look back on and be like, oh wait, let's go check out that song. Cause that's what I love about RuPaul's Drag Race with the lip sync songs. I love when I never have heard of a song and I watch it being portrayed on stage and I'm like, wait, that's iconic. I need to get into that. And that's what I want, especially for this newer 
generation, you know, like, Gen Z, your music is fine, but I'm just putting that out there, we have better music. I'm just putting that out there! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Number six. She has been a guest judge. We have had an iconic lip sync for one of her iconic songs, and now we need another iconic lip sync for one of her songs. This is Call Your Girlfriend by Robin. Call your girlfriend. Bitch! If you are a drag artist that started before the year 2015, you have performed this song. You have performed the song. You have either dressed up like her and tried to do the choreography, or you have just turned this song out. Ooh, hold up, my titty. Let me tell you this, and I just want to put this out there. If this song is ever on RuPaul's Drag Race, and the diva that does it, if you do the choreography verbatim, I will hate you and love you at the same time. Okay? Because if you do it correctly, I'll love you. If you have it, I'm coming at you. I'm coming for your neck and I'm putting blush on you because I know you probably don't have any blush on, okay? <laughs> Moving right along to number five 90s babies. This is for you, sweetie. This is going to be Fantasy by Mariah Carey. Oh, when you walk by every night, talking sweet and looking fine. I am, I am shocked. I am shocked we have not had this song on RuPaul's Drag Race. This is a feel-good song. This is a sing-along. This is a groove. This is a dance. This is a slow. Th this encompasses it all. This is Mariah Carey in her prime. I mean, hold on. We Mariah Carey has always been in her prime. Let me just put that out there. She's one of those singers that have always been on the top of her game. Except, you know, currently. But in her in illustrious career, she has always been at the top of her game. Haters, bye bye but the mama is gorgeous, she's stunning, she has always hit those notes. But you're gonna have everyone, as soon as they hear Fantasy by Mariah, you're gonna have all the gays, all the theys, all the thems jumping up, baby. We're like, it's our moment, it's our moment. And that's what this song is going to do. This song is gonna be so iconic, so amazing. Now, number four. One of my all-time favorite songs, one of my all-time favorite bands, I have performed this song religiously, and I know a lot of entertainers have performed this song religiously, which is why I'm so surprised it hasn't been on Drag Race. Coming in at number four, Misery Business by Paramore. <laughs> you're a whore, there's nothing more. Okay, Drag Race, you're a whore for not putting this song on. This song is so brilliant. So Iconic song, you guys. Lyrics galore, can be... There's not only one way to perform it. I mean, it would be kind of weird if someone like balloted it. It would be kind of like, what are you doing, sis? However, I'm not gonna tell you how to do your art. Mama, no one should be telling you how to do your art. But you know, it's energy, you guys. It's energy, it's up, it's in your face. Like, this song is just so iconic. Okay, we are coming down to the top three songs. Iconic, iconic, beautiful, gorgeous, stunning songs. Coming in at number three is my all-time favorite Britney Spears song. So surprised it hasn't been on here. The video, the look, the choreography. Baby, it is overprotected. The Dark Child Remix. What am I to do with my life? Baby, baby, what am I gonna do? What I gotta do to live my life and watch this on my screen, you guys. This song is, is iconic. Everything about the video, everything about the song, it is so good. You are gonna have so many drag artists that are like <laughs> so many. You could take it so many directions. It's not a long song, so that's good. So you can really just deliver the punch and be done with it, baby. This is what we need. The Doc Child remix, Overprotected. What am I gonna do? Mama, put it on. Next up, number two, Legendary, Diva. The greatest singer of our lifetime. I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. And I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't know if it's like a rights thing. I don't know if it's an expense. I don't know what it is. But why have we never heard this song on RuPaul's Drag Race? Like, half of me thinks that when they pick music, they don't wanna pick quintessential drag music because it gives 
people an advantage. But a song like this, that is forever. It's timeless. It's legendary. It's amazing. Why has this not been on there? Why? Miss Whitney deserves it, you guys. This is one of those things where I don't care what type of age, genre, type of drag queen, you are going to turn this lip sync out. Well, you guys, we have come down to number one. And the reason why I dressed up like this, if you will, number one is going to all my Beyonce fans and it is going to four Mation, baby! Okay, ladies, now let's ha ha come on. Okay. I have a couple of 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 re of ideas why this hasn't been a lip sync song. So in my opinion, there would be some discourse if you're not a melanated diva doing this song, okay? You know, um, but we have seen it time and time again, a white girl doing a black girl song, a black girl doing... All that put aside. Just love the song for what it is and put it on the show. This will be a legendary lip sync. This will be an iconic lip sync. This will be a lip sync that people will remember forever. Like I've done the song before. I can see Taste doing this song. I can see obviously Trinity K. Bonet. I can see Marina Summers turning this song out. You guys, this is a song that as long as you have some sort of rhythm, style, and emotion, you will excel at this song. Put it on, RuPaul's Drag Race. Please put it on for me. Like, ugh, I, I, I just want to get into formation. I want to see this song live. I want to get up in formation and break it down with the divas. So put it on. That's why it is my number one for lip sync songs that I want to see on RuPaul's Drag Race. Well, you guys, that was the list. This is so much fun. I got so passionate because these are songs that I love. I love, I love, I love. And I want to see them on, you guys, like really bad. As always, comment below. What are some of your favorite songs that you want to see on RuPaul's Drag Race? And honestly, let me tell you this much. This list is going to go on and on and on and on. This is not going to be just a one-time list. I have songs. I had to go through the songs that I... Mama, we are doing more. You don't worry. As always, if you have any ideas for the channel, please put them in the comments below. And I will see you next time in my next video. Bye.